Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Nexus 5 status bar look. So let's get started. Okay, so I just want to first preface this by saying that you will need to have uh, root access and super user permissions and be running an Android device uh, or be using an Android device that's running Android 4.1 or later. Uh, up to 4.4, I do not believe this will work. So I think it's between 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3. Uh, so anyway, if we go ahead and check out uh, this download, which will be uh, down below, it's going to be uh, something that looks like that, the exposed installer or exposed framework. Uh, from there, you're going to just go ahead and install it just like a normal IPK. Then you have this nice little thing down here uh, or app in your app drawer. From here, you're going to go to framework and you're going to install slash update. Uh, if you get um, somewhat of an error, you shouldn't get any errors, but if you do, let me know down below and I'll try to answer you. Uh, but you're going to want to hit that and then you're going to go to the download section. And where I have Gravity Box, that's what you're going to want to install. And as you can see, it says uh, for devices running 4.1, 2, and 3. So if you're running 4.4 for whatever reason, maybe a custom ROM, this may or may not work. Um, or anything below, it also may or may not work. Now it's going to be somewhere down here, so you're just going to basically scroll to try to find it. And then once you find it, you're just going to click on it and you're going to see something like this. It's going to tell you what, it, uh, what it's going to go ahead and allow you to do, the features, and you should see the versions and then go ahead and hit uh, download and it should download and install for you. Um, and then after that, you're going to want to go to modules and you'll see this in here and I don't believe it'll be checked. So you're just going to go, go ahead and hit the check box right there to enable it and that should uh, get it working. After that, you will need to reboot your device. So once you've rebooted, what you're gonna to want to do now is open up the app drawer, go to Gravity Box, and you see now you have a bunch of different tweaks that you can go ahead and uh, use on your device. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to Status Bar Tweaks and Status Bar Colors. Now enable icon colors, I believe is uh, checked uh, off by default. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is check that on and then just go ahead and drag this little thing up to the corner to get white. Now, I know that the Nexus 5 is a little bit more of an off-white, not so bright, I believe, but that you know that's okay for the most part. Um, and then data activity color is the, I believe the little colors that the arrows will uh, be once you're somewhat uh, transferring data over the network. I'm not sure what the color is exactly, so I just kind of put it to this gray color. Uh, everything else looks fine. Um, you just basically want to have your settings somewhat similar to the way I have them. And then transparency management. You're going to want to turn the transparency for the launcher all the way up. And then the status bar for the lock screen, uh, if you're not using a custom lock screen or anything like that, if it's pretty stock, you're going to want to try to get it to 56 or 55. Uh, anything more or less than that, it's not going to match the background. And it's going to come out either darker or lighter. Now everything else, I believe, uh, is just the way that you saw it. The notification drawer uh, background, you might you might need to change this. I noticed when I first installed it, it was a little weird. So you might need to come in here and kind of play with it, put it up, and then put it down to zero, and it should uh, kind of sort it out. Everything else is pretty much the same. You also have some status bar, quick tile management, stuff like that. Most of this stuff, by the way, is usually built into whatever custom ROM you have, uh, but sometimes it's not. So if you want to go ahead and have that for, let's say you have a custom ROM that's Pretty much stock but you want a little bit of functionality you can go ahead and install that that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to hit that like button and subscribe down there for more uh, i'm going to be having maybe how to get android 4.4 on your nexus s uh, a custom rom i have a custom rom running on it if you guys want to see that be sure to leave a link down below it is an alpha build so there is some stuff not working but if you guys want to see it let me know again i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one peace